All right, so some features in Windows 10 will only be available if you are signed in using a Microsoft account instead of a local account. So you may need to set up a Microsoft account if you do not already have one. Now you can do this at signup.live.com. You don't necessarily need this entire string of numbers here. You can just go to signup.live.com and it will forward you here. From here, you just enter your name and you can enter any email address. It does not need to be a Microsoft email address like outlook.com. However, if you want to create a new email address specifically for these purposes, you can do that. So then of course, you'll just go through the normal account creation steps, uh, entering a password, choosing your region, your birth date, gender, your phone number. Uh, this phone number will be used for verification purposes. So Microsoft accounts do use a two-step verification process when you log in on a new system. So they'll send you a text message with a code in it so that you can verify that you are the uh, that you are that person, the owner of that account. So that's all you need to do to set up a Microsoft account. From then, you can log into Windows using that Microsoft account if you would like to get access to some additional features. Now, in addition, if you are just setting up Windows 10 and you have not yet uh, installed it entirely. Um, there is a point during the setup process when you can create a Microsoft account as well. I'm not able to show that uh, for obvious reasons here, but that is another way that you can do that. However, if you already are set up in, in, in Windows 10 and you need to create a Microsoft account, this is the place that you would go ahead and do that.